Hey guys, everything new under the sun. This is a Zero Hedge article, and it's about house prices in Canada. And I'm going to relate the house prices in Canada to um, the seals in Revelation 6, and uh, the, the uh, judgment, uh, the tribulation coming upon the earth in the seals. And so how am I going to connect house prices to Revelation 6 seals? Well, we're going to take a look at some scriptures here. <clears throat> and... Uh, Let's go to Revelation 6 right now. Now, this is the NIV, and this is speaking of um, the seals um, that uh, will be coming upon the earth, which will be opened up. And uh, one of the ones is in verse 6 that I want to read about. I'll just read briefly through um, the first seal. So, I watched as the Lamb opened the first of the seven seals, and I heard the four living creatures say in a voice like thunder, Come, I looked, and there before me was a white horse. Its rider held a bow, and he was given a crown, and he rode out to conquer as a conqueror bent on conquest. And, and many people suggest, uh, you know, is that the Antichrist? When the Lamb opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come. Then another horse came out, a fiery red run. It was its rider was given the power to take peace from the earth. So peace is removed from the earth. So wars and rumors of wars, as the Bible says. And to make people kill each other. So people are going to kill each other in this uh, time. To him was given a large sword. Uh, verse 5. When the Lamb opened a third seal, I heard a third living creature say, Come, I looked. And there before me was a black horse. And its rider was holding a pair of scales in his hand. And then, verse 6. I heard what sounded like a voice among the four living creatures saying, Two pounds of wheat for a day's wages and six pounds of barley for a day's wages and do not damage the oil and the wine. Now, when does this happen? Well, this happens before um, the, uh, the sun uh, goes black. In verse 12 here, I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of goat hair. The whole moon turned blood red and the stars in the sky fell to earth as a fig drops from a fig tree when shaken by a strong wind the heavens receded like a scroll being rolled up and every mountain and island was moved from its place then the kings of the earth the princes the generals the rich the mighty and everyone else both slave and free hid in the caves among the rocks of the mountains they called to the mocks and, uh, rock, mountains and rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the land. So at this time, after the sun and the moon go dark, the wrath of God comes. So the seals are prior to that um, during the tribulation uh, section of uh, the seven-year tribulation as part of the um, seals of Revelation 6. There is an article here. Um, are the six seals uh, in Revelation, rather are the seals in Revelation 6 the wrath of God? Um, and if you're a pre-tribulation, if you believe in pre-tribulation uh, rapture, then you believe the whole 70th week is really the wrath of God. But that's um, not really the case. And, and this article goes through it. I'll put this link in the description. This article basically um, goes through and gives you detail as to why the seals uh, are indeed before the wrath of God uh, comes. Uh, and uh, so it, it ends up, although Christ is clearly in control of all end time events, it is clear Equally clear that the wrath of God does not begin with the seals. The world will run its course, albeit in an intensified way, once the 70th week begins. I believe we're about, we're less than three years away from the 70th week of Daniel occurring, I believe. Right up until the sign of the sun, moon, and stars when the natural light of the universe will go out. So the 70th week of Daniel will go right up until the sun and moon go dark, and then <clears throat> the wrath comes upon the earth. Following this event will be a worldwide a uh, visible return of the Lord uh, for his own people, and then the day of the Lord, the wrath of God will begin. And that's what this article uh, argues. Well, how does that relate to home prices? Well, let's look at this here. Most, uh, sorry, Canadian May home sales plunged most since the financial crisis. Rising rates, check. Chinese capital controls and a slump in foreign buyers, check. Trade war with the U.S., absolutely check. All this Trump trade war talk. Things are not looking good for Canadians, uh, Canada's national housing market. 
which as VCG reports continued in a sluggish re uh, performance in the month of May. Despite warmer weather it usually, uh, and usually busy spring selling season, buying activity has been awfully quiet. New mortgage, mortgage re regulations, which are now in full swing, have stymied fringe buyers, particularly millennials. New mortgage originations uh, among millennials in, fell in Canada 19.5%. As shown in the chart below, and this is what I think is interesting, national home sales in Canada plunged by 16% year over year for the month of May. This was the worst decline since the great financial collapse in 2008, or crisis rather, when home sales dipped 17%. So we're just on the cusp of exactly what happened uh, in 2008. Furthermore, home sales of 50,604 marked the lowest total since May 2011. I think this is interesting because are we seeing, look at that chart there, are we seeing a pattern like we saw in 2008? Are we looking at the precursor to the actual financial collapse that should have occurred in 2008 and didn't? And if this is an, uh, an indicator, uh, a forewarning of a financial collapse, uh, what does that mean about um, the price of food? When people don't want to buy houses anymore because they don't have the money and uh, when the economy collapses, uh, because you know these are these are indicators of uh, a possible larger event. Note that interesting things are going on with the stock market right now, with the bonds, um, etc. If you watch, follow Gregory Manorino. He's he had a, a video yesterday warning of um, something you know strange is going on, and a big move is potentially going to happen on the markets. Uh, well, the, these could be an indicator, a forewarning of a larger economic event. And, of course, what do we have happening in Revelation 6? Well, we have um, food and water being expensive. Two pounds uh, of wheat for a day's wages. Six pounds of barley for a day's wages. And do not damage the oil and the wine. So you have, effectively, an economic collapse uh, really spoken of uh, in, uh, in the seals here from Revelation 6. You have indication that um, you can't get food very easily. It's very hard. And this is all going to happen prior to the wrath of God uh, during the seven-year uh, period, during the seven-year tribulation. And this likely winds up uh, prior to that, starts uh, starts going before that uh, um, in preparation for the sealed judgments when it gets as bad as it states there, two pounds of wheat for a day's wages. So if you make $100 a day, um, you know, it's going to take all that $100 basically to make a couple of loaves of bread for your family and that's all you'll be getting uh, so food is very expensive this is the indicator and i think interestingly um, the home prices seem to tell a story um, that maybe we're near uh finally near the next uh economic crisis as uh, and it will be a lot worse indeed than it was in 2008 even and so that's what i that's what I see coming, and this is kind of evidence uh, building that case of, you know, we're, we're very near something. Something is imminent. The economy should crash. Uh, we, there's so much debt in the world. Um, the world can't pay it with interest rates heading higher. That means the U.S. isn't going to be able to pay interest on its $21 trillion worth of debt. That means other countries won't be able to pay their interest on uh, their trillions of dollars worth of debt. The uh, free market is going to right itself. It's going to correct itself at some point. They can't prop it up forever. Eventually, all fiat currencies crash and collapse and uh, go back to zero. And that's what we see with the U.S. dollar. It's 99% you know, devalued at this point in time. And, uh, and so this tells you that uh, you know, an economic collapse it could happen at any moment now. It's imminent. How long can they keep uh, the charade up? How long can they prop up <clears throat> the U.S. dollar as a fiat world reserve currency countries are actively working against it going to gold standards going to other standards getting off the u.s dollar as a world reserve currency and all these things are and you have the trade tariffs which historically were the uh the trigger point where the uh the, the cause of the initial cause of 1929 disaster which is the video that i did a couple of weeks ago that and that one took off quite well you know, because we're seeing the return of that we're seeing all the stuff happening right now that we saw in 1929 so this stuff is coming around. You be, better be prepared. Do you know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? He's coming back soon. I think we have less than 10 years at this point uh, prior to the return of the Lord. You better get your house in order. better get yourself in order. And uh, 
have some food and water on hand because times are likely to get going to get uh, they're likely going to get hard uh, real soon. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll leave it there. Be prepared. These are exciting times, uh, but it's it's a time to be prepared and to be wise. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.